tears and prayers tonight during a vigil for a 12 year old boy who was shot on Thanksgiving. Questions still remain over his death. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill spoke to his family in Skyline tonight about what it means to celebrate his life. The uncle of the 12 year old boy says that while he appreciates everybody being here tonight, he does wish that they were here for a different reason. They're a family that wants to know how and why this all happened. Of course, no one's prepared to bury a child. There were candles flickering in the night along with misty eyes of friends and family of Angel Domingo Gaspar Gallegos at his vigil. San Diego police say the 12 year old was shot and killed on Thanksgiving night, a moment that still doesn't seem real for Angel's aunt and uncle. With this incident, um, all our lives have pretty much changed forever. Our feelings about Thanksgiving <laughs> will never be the same. Our family didn't deserve this. His siblings didn't deserve this. No parent should have to bury their child. Angel's family says the boy and others were in the backyard playing when the stray bullet came through the fence, hitting Angel. I don't even think this was intentional. There's no way, but we do need to find who did it because intentional or not, they devastated my family. This family and those who cared for Angel will do just what these shirts say, carry him forever in their hearts. As they prepare to bury their loved one, many questions are still on their minds. The hardest question that we may not get answers to is why? Why him? Why now? If anybody heard anything or seen anything, please come forward. Please help us get closure. I know it. It's not fair. <laughs> Nothing is going to bring Angel back. We at least like to know why and how this happened. The San Diego Police Department's investigation into this shooting is still ongoing, and there's no suspect description at this time. The department is echoing similar sentiments of this boy's uncle that if anyone has information, please contact the department. Reporting in Skyline, Ryan Hill, ABC 10 News.